The sprint to election day is on in the race for mayor. Brandon Johnson and Paul Vallis are looking to solidify support across the city fresh off last night's debate here and on WGN. WGN Political Report. It's Mon Bradley here with the latest from the campaign trail. Tamon? Ray and Dina, no break for the candidates for mayor. They left WGN early last night and got right back to work. At this hour, both campaigns are gearing up for yet another candidate forum 30 minutes from now. Yeah, Paul doesn't have a plan. A lot of this nonsense is just another attempt to divert attention from the fact that he wants to defund the police. Fresh off the WGN TV debate, the candidates for mayor return to the campaign trail with election day only 13 days away. In Pilsen, Paul Vallis scored an endorsement from former Governor Pat Quinn. Vallis ran as Quinn's lieutenant governor candidate in 2014. Paul Vallis, I've known for 40 years. He's a stand-up guy. The older you get, life you know, the, you know, the circle reconnects again. And uh, I, I'm so pleased and, and so proud to have his endorsement from my friend. While Vallis hit up the west side, Brandon Johnson made stops on the north and south sides. We are just moments away from the type of transformation that we've been fighting for for a generation. Tonight, the candidates face off again during another one-hour television forum. With millions in both campaign war chests and scrutiny from journalists intensifying, both men are desperately trying to stay on message. There is a great deal of frustration and pain that people are experiencing because of disinvestment. I'm going to work hard every single day to bring people together. I think crime is the number one issue for both Democrats and Republicans. Our polling certainly tells us that. One last nugget from the trail. The Johnson campaign is highlighting the fact that former GOP candidate for governor Darren Bailey took to social media to criticize Johnson. In a Facebook video, Bailey said it will be a dark day if Chicago voters elect Johnson. Live in the newsroom, Tamon Bradley, WGN News.